I hope you're getting in some goat snuggles. This is the time of year for that. Oh, they're just the best, aren't they? You're the best. You know you're the best too, don't you? You know it. When can goat kids have minerals? I get that question a lot. And it's a really simple answer. Feed your kids goat minerals. If you own a doe that that you bred and then now just had kids, then you should have had minerals out this entire time. You should have had minerals out but while she, before she was pregnant, while she was being bred, while she was pregnant, and after she was pregnant. So there should be minerals already out for your goats and for your doe, which means that those minerals will also be out for your kids, and that's a good thing. But if you just brought home cute, snuggly little goat kids, don't eat my hair. If you just brought home little cute baby goat, snuggly goat kids, then you can just go ahead and find that feeder that works best for you and your situation in your barn, wherever you're going to be putting it, and you can get minerals put out, even if you just brought home baby goat kids. So your baby kids will go around and nibble on everything. They will be putting everything in your mouth, in their mouth, including your hair and clothes and who knows what else they can find, but they will be putting it in their mouth. And they will go around and probably lick at the minerals and, and will then learn. It's just instinct for them to get what they need when they need it. And so you may not, and, and this is for all goats of any age, you may not see them eating it a lot but they are getting what they need. And, and so some areas may need more minerals for various reasons, and, and you may notice them eating it more than you, than you think they should, or maybe they aren't eating as much as you think they should, but they're getting enough minerals in their hay or, or in their grass and, and what you're actually feeding them. So trust your goats. Your goats will eat about half an ounce a day of goat minerals. So one thing that you might see your goats eating or, or licking a lot is an actual block of mineral. They, they might lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it, lick it. And you're thinking, man, they're really liking this. But in actuality, they're not getting what they need from that hard block of mineral. And in fact, their little soft tongues are just not tough enough. They're not hard enough to lick it enough to get what they need. So you may think they like it because they're always at it, but they're always at it because they're just not getting enough. And they may also love it because they can stand on it. <laughs> but then because they're standing on it, they're pooping on it and they're soiling it. And then they probably will end up not using it in the end anyway. So always just put out loose minerals that are specifically made for goats. So no matter the age of the goat, you're gonna put out loose minerals and you're gonna do it from a very young age. I know that you love your goats and you want them to live a long, productive, and healthy life. And that's why you're going to do your research. You're going to work on understanding all of this. You're going to take your time as you research minerals because minerals are a very important subject for, for all of us. <laughs> your goats, it's very important, and for you as well. I hope you're taking your own minerals to keep you healthy and strong. So I encourage you to do your research on this, take time to learn it, and the good news for you is that I have several videos on goat minerals on my channel and you can find more information as well on a lifeofheritage.com. So be sure to take the time to, to, to learn what you can about this and enjoy those goats. Keep them healthy and strong so that you can be blessed by them for many, many years to come. So I'll see you in my Raising Goats playlist and I will also see you on my website. So I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for taking this time to learn more about your goats. I hope you have a great day. Snuggle those goats and we'll see you in that next video. Also, if you watched my last vi video about shivering goats, I hope you watched to the end. It's very important to know that yes, when it's really cold, goats shiver, but also they do shiver when they're sick and they, uh, and that's very dangerous. So if you did not watch 
what to do when you go shivering and how to know if it's bad, uh, you need to go and watch that video and watch it all the way to the end. Again, because you love your goats and you want to keep them healthy. So <laughs> I'll see you in that video if you didn't watch that one or if you didn't finish watching that one. Have a great day.